So just a few days ago, UiPath have launched a new feature called UiPath Assistant Excel Add-in. And I think it is huge news because this add-in can be added directly to Excel and we can create whatever process we want. This add-in can act on the Excel sheet plus on anything else that we can do with UiPath Studio. So today we're going to see how we can add the add-in and how we can use it to our advantage. And we're going to see a really simple, it's so powerful use case that's going to definitely help you with your daily work. Let's jump right in. All right. So uh, first thing first, we need to go to this website in here. I will leave the, uh, the website in the description below. So just click on it and go to it. Once you're here, click on get it now. This is the UiPath assistance for Excel. So let's click on get it now. It will take me to Microsoft 365 to complete the process. And then I will simply click on open in Excel. Let's click on open. And here it will open up Excel. Once it opens for the first time, this tab will be empty and you will have a button to accept or not. Just click on accept or approve. I already have it in my machine. That's why I already have automations in here. Uh, for the first time, this will be empty after you click on approve or accept. Okay, now that we have downloaded and installed the UiPath Assistant for Excel, all we need to do is go to UiPath Studio and create and publish our first plugin inside of the UiPath Orchestrator. So here, after opening UiPath, of course, the prerequisites always, we need Studio 2023.4.2, so the latest version. Uh, a previous version to this, it's not going to work. We need to go to more templates. And here we are going to select official from here. And we will find a UiPath assistant for Excel process. Let's click on it. Okay, let's click on use template. And here, let's name our template uh, first UiPath plugin, for example, or add-in. Okay, so now we have uh, the process ready. We can actually uh, publish this exact process and it's going to work. It's a simple process that show us what we have already selected in the Excel sheet. So let's do this. Let's click on publish. Okay, let's keep it like this. Uh, we don't need to change anything. Just keep this as personal as well. So it will be easier. Let's click on publish. Okay, projects published successfully. Let's click on okay. And now if we go to the Excel sheet and click on refresh, we will have a first UiPad add-in shown in here. Uh, it will be your first add-in if this is the first time that you create a process. And what we can do here is uh, create a new sheet. Let's create some data. Let's say, for example, name. Here, let's have age and let's have some, I don't know, uh, name one, I'm out of, uh, I'm out of creativity today, name two. And here let's have age one and age two, one and two. Okay. So here I can select, for example, this, uh, this table and click on run first UI pads add in. It will tell me to create a copy of the Excel sheet just so that we don't touch this Excel sheet. If you have important data in it, let's have it saved inside the document. It's okay. And now it will launch the process. This process simply tell me this is the workbook that you're working with. This is the sheet name that you have working with, uh, that you're working with. This is the selected range. We have selected A1 to B3. And these are the data. This is the data. So this is a really simple plugin. We didn't need to do anything to create this plugin. So here I'm going to click on OK and I'm going to close this. And now I'm going to open up another Excel sheet where I already uh, created a, a really simple plugin that I told you about at the start of this video. So let me open up the Excel sheet and let me open up the uh, plugin that I have created. So here 
I'm going to open up this plugin. Open main workflow. And what I did is basically clean and fix table. So if you have a table that is uh, kind of, let's say, have wrong data in it, typos, lowercase, uppercase, numbers that are not uh, in uh, in currencies, some numbers that some uh, some values that have currency in it, other uh, amounts they don't have currency in them. Uh, this will fix the table without us having to do anything. And if you ask how I did this, I actually interact with ChatGPT in the background. And this is why this is so, so strong because we can have everything that we can do in UiPath and add it inside of this plugin and it will work basically without us having to do anything. Now let's go to my Excel sheet and see how it's going to work. So once we open the Excel sheet, we can see that the plugin of UiPath has been added to the Excel sheet. So we only need to click on UiPath. After that, we click on find automations. And here I will have all of my processes that I've already published to Orchestrator. So here, as you can see, I have some data in here. I have some amounts with the dollar sign, others, they don't have anything. And it's not really kind of, you know, a clean data. Here I have some typos like PID instead of paid. Uh, I have uh, unpaid as well. I have unpaid instead of uh, unpaid. I have uh, uppercase, lowercase, all sorts of troubles with this table. And I will ask uh, UiPath plugin to basically fix the table for me. So let's select this and let's click on run to basically see if it can clean the data or not. So as you can see, it literally took all of the data and cleaned it, like just like that. Now, I know that we can do this with unattended automations. We have been able to do this forever, but I am so excited about this exact plugin because people that has nothing to do with RPA or UiPath can see the usefulness of this process. You don't need to be a developer or even a citizen developer for this matter to understand this plugin. Anybody can use it. Everyone has already worked with add-ins of Excel before, so it's so easy to use. And if you have really good, uh, let's say, plugins or add-ins that you already had inside of the Excel sheets and people can see it, people will ask you, how did you do this and what type of technology have you used? So this will be a big push for the industry. So this is why I'm so excited about this, not because we couldn't do this before, but because it's so easy to use and you just need to select basically your range and everything can happen inside of your Excel sheets. So this is a whole new way of interactive and attended automations. And it's a really easy way to interact with your Excel sheets using the power of UiPath. So yeah, that was it for me, guys. Uh, if you want me, guys, to make more videos about really good plugins or add-ins inside of the Excel sheets, uh, just let me know in the comments and hopefully we can have a series of these uh, add-ins that will help you with your daily work. See you guys on the next one. Peace.